Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of August. This month I am using the Mystic Dreamer Tarot deck and one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. If you are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I am a clairvoyant and clairsentient. I see things and I feel things. As a clairsentient, it's a heightened form of empathy, which means that I can feel past, present, and future. I pick up vibes, emotions, feelings. Um, what else? Vibes, emotions, feelings uh, of other people. And I can feel what other people feel because that is what I pick up. So in private readings, I can feel what your partner feels. I can feel if they want to commit because then I feel commitment. I can feel if they love because I feel love. If I get indifference, then this person doesn't love you or doesn't really care. So that is how I do my readings. It's called Reading People. It's where I shine and do my best work. I'm usually about 90% accurate when it comes to reading people. I also uh, use tarot cards. They back up my intu intuition. Tarot cards I've had to learn. You know, that's not an easy thing to learn when there's like 70 some cards, 78 cards or whatever it comes to. So I'm not as good at reading the cards, but I can read people like nobody's business. All right. Okay. Uh, these readings are general. They are not meant for everybody. If the reading resonates with you, that's great. I'm glad I can give you free reading for the month. If it doesn't resonate, you can always purchase a private reading from me. You can email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. I will get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time is under five days. I'd like to get the readings out as fast as I can because I find a lot of people are stressed out, worried, confused, their heart is breaking, they don't know which way to turn, they're trying to get answers and they need them soon. I'm not one for sitting on a reading for two weeks because I just don't feel like doing one. I like to get them out as fast as I can. I uh, respect other people's money like I respect my own. So the, the readings that I get out, I like to have them clear and concise and precise as much as I can. Okay. All right. So when I do my tarot readings, I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put them back in the in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out again. All right. What are the messages for Aquarius for the month of August? Aquarius for the month of August. Aquarius for the month of August. Aquarius for the month of August. What are the messages for Aquarius for the month of August? Aquarius for the month of August. Aquarius for the month of August. Aquarius for the month of August. Page of Wands. Six of Cups is coming out a lot. Six of Cups. King of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords. Aquarius for the month of August. What are the messages for Aquarius for the month of August? Seven of Wands. Aquarius for the month of August. What are the messages for Aquarius for the month of August? Aquarius for the month of August. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Aquarius for the month of August, Judgment, and Death. Okay, so very first week, we're going to go by four weeks. There's four weeks in a month, right? So the first week we have the page of Wands, page of Spears. This is good news. It's friendship. It is about... Um, 
It's about good news and a young situation. This is a sociable time. So the first week is going to be quite sociable. And it's also creative time. So you could be either involved with a younger um, Sagittarius Aries or Leo person. But this is also, they could be bringing you good news about something. Okay? This is, this is a young situation. I don't believe this is a person that you're involved with. It's a young situation, uh, a young relationship, and it's going to be a very social time this week. We have the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles speaks about giving and receiving. So it's going to be a balanced week with the person that you're with. They're going to give, you're going to receive, you're going to give, they're going to receive. It's very balanced and it's harmonious. Okay? Then we have the Six of Cups, the second week. So the Six of Cups is about nostalgia, innocence, reunions, friendship. So this person is around you, but there's going to be some socializing. This is, a, again, a great balance. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles that came up, and now we have the Six of Cups. This is about you wanting a relationship to be very, like, um, you want it to be the way it used to be. And that's what you're hoping for, is this relationship to be um, the way it used to be. Um, happiness, very loving, kind, generous, okay? This is somebody that could be coming back into your life. It's also exes coming back. Then we have Seven of Cups. And the Seven, seven of Cups is very dreamy. You're dreaming about this person. Okay? This person that... this It's dreaming about a person. It's a new love. All right? I don't know if you want this love to be like another love. I don't know. But this is a very dreamy. Head in the clouds. Um, now this is, let's see here. So seven of cups is about just being very dreamy, enjoying, um, each other's company. This is like the honeymoon stage. This is what you're wanting. Okay. Then we have the king of swords and this person is right beside the six of cups. So this could be the person that you're hoping um, is going to come back. This is the third week. So you might be getting contact from this person. The King of Swords is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, male or female. All right. They're very methodical. They're, they're everything they, 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 every decision they make is based on thought and reason and not emotions. Okay. And then we have judgment. So judgment, this is, this is the second chance. So the third week of August, you're going to get a second chance when it comes to this relationship here. The angels have brought you guys together. This is giving something a second chance, readdressing things, which is what this is talking about here. Okay. Then we have the fourth week, which is a seven of wands, and this speaks about holding your ground. This person typically is a little bit higher up, like they're on a stack of um, uh, wood, which means that they're at a point of advantage. This is you negotiating and standing up for what you want and what you believe in for the relationship. And there's going to be that transition. There's the change, going from a cocoon to a butterfly. Death is about change. From bloss it's blossoming from one thing to another. So this relationship is going to evolve to something even better, you're just going to have to um, try and find a good balance until you get there because it's going to be a little bit up and down. Okay. All right. Because there he, this, this guy is right beside this card here, which is about the past. And it was, this card was underneath, which is about second chances. Okay. All right. Now, Let's see what Dorian Virtue's Romance Angel says. What is the message for Aquarius for the month of August? Aquarius for the month of August. Messages for Aquarius for the month of August. Aquarius for the month of August. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. There you go. That's a really nice card. All right, there is your reading for all of you Aquarians for the month of August. I really hope this reading helps you. And again, if you'd like to purchase a private reading, email me 
and I will send you the information on how to purchase one. I thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, thumbs up. I truly appreciate it, and I hope these messages help. Thank you for watching. Take care, and have a great month of August. Bye-bye.